We're live, everybody. Hello, K-Wave listening family. It's Brian Perez from K-Wave 107.9, and we are here in the studio today with actress Sarah Hernandez. You know her as an actress. I know her as a friend. I met her a few years ago. I will tell you that story later because that, that's cool in and of itself. But Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. You're... This is so much fun. This it... is so much fun. So I've got to tell everybody the story of how we met. You have okay. to. Yes, because a lot of you may see Sarah and you say, she looks familiar. Is it from TV? Is it from movies? It could even be somewhere that you used to shop. Okay, check this out. So here in K-Wave, border of Santa Ana and Costa Mesa, down the street over on Harbor Boulevard, there used to be a Christian bookstore, which is funny because if you drive by there, the <laughs> sign is still there. It's it still, still there. says family yep. Christian stores, right? So anyway, I uh, walked in one day on one of those rare occasions when I was not shopping at the chapel store of Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, because, you know, that's where I go all the time. And uh, but so I had to go to family Christian store to pick up some stuff. And um, so met Sarah and it was around the time that family Christian stores announced that they were going to be closing. Yep. Right. And uh, and since then, now there's another bookstore that has said that they're going to close. Lifeway yeah. is going away soon, too, by the yep. end of the year. But anyway, so so uh, walk in, find out that they're closing. So I asked Sarah, so so what are you going to do now? Yeah. Right. And I that was the this. funny thing. Yes, because yeah. I'm used to hearing, you know, oh, I'll probably go to school. I'll probably, yeah, which nothing wrong with going to school. Don't I'm going to live wrong. with my mom for a while, my parents until I get situated. Yes, yes, exactly. And and her answer was, by the way, I apologize for doing most of the talking in this no, conversation. No, 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 I'm no. just so, yeah, You're I brought excited. you in here for this. You're excited. He's excited. So. Anyway, because <laughs> yeah, I've never interviewed a Hollywood celebrity before. Okay, actually I have. But anyway, um, the point, where was I? Take two, um, no alive. Um, anyway, all right. Other all right. people other saying people that say, they're going to go to school. Live with mom. But what was my answer? Yes, her answer was, oh, I think I'm going to get back into, you know, pursuing my acting career again. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Acting career? What? You were an actor? Yes. Wait, you I'm were like, just working in a Christian bookstore. What do yes, you mean you were an exactly, actor? Talk exactly. to me about this. So I was, and then she started telling me about, oh, yeah, I've been in. You know, I've been in a few TV shows and everything, and uh, give me your email address. I'll send you my demo. And I'm just like, wait, what? Yep. So anyway, it was really cool. And uh, so she's been, so so. what have you been on that people may have seen <sighs> you on, besides the bookstore think, working behind the counter I saying, mean, welcome to Family Christian Store? Anyway, <laughs> which I love, by the way. That was yes. one of the best times of my life working at Family Christian. Um, I get recognized a lot from Tyler Perry's House of Pain. I guest starred on his show. Um, Secret Life, the American Teenager. I did guest star on that as well. Um, my first role ever, my one liner in a movie, was in the Bratz movie. The cartoon? No, it was like a live action oh, okay, movie. Okay, yeah, okay. everyone's like, yeah, the Bratz are cartoons, but then they did like a live oh, okay, action okay. with real people, and yeah. I played like a, a hippie greedy girl. That was my first anything. <laughs> um, but I get recognized a lot from that. And then also, I guess, started on The Mentalist. Okay. It's a okay. hit crime show that everyone it, really liked. Yeah. So you've been on a few things. I have. And now, in a few days, opening in theaters nationwide. Everywhere. Everywhere is a movie called Unplanned. Yep. It's the life story of Abby Johnson. Yep. And Abby Johnson, she's been all over the place on Focus on the Family and, and Dr. Yeah. James Dobson's Family Talk. And uh, sharing her testimony of how she used to work at an abortion clinic. Well, she worked for Planned Parenthood. She, did. she was like one of the top. She was their 2008 Employee of the Year. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this isn't just somebody working at a, at a clinic. I mean, she was like big time. Yeah. And uh, so the story, she, she wrote a book. It's now a movie. Yep. It comes out in theaters on Friday, March 29th. Yeah. Check that out. Buy your tickets. You can. Uh, what's the link for the more details? Unplanned you film? can visit uh, unplanned.com, and we have a link right there saying pre pre buy your tickets, and Perfect. it will let you know every single theater in your city right away. Yeah, there's yeah. so many theaters, guys. I'm so excited. Yeah. This is really and it's the a big trailer one. is just amazing. I mean, if that was all that there was, just that two minute trailer, <laughs> that would be like. Okay, this is great, but it's it's going to be a full on movie. So, um, so how did you get involved with uh, with the unplanned movie? Oh my Lanta, that's a really loaded. Did you say my oh, Lanta? I did. Okay. Oh my Lanta, and I did not get that I can from give you Fuller water, House. I can, uh, <laughs> we don't have my Lanta here. Anyway. Oh yeah. Um, wow. Uh, so how did I get involved with unplanned? For me, I it was literally a direct answer to prayer. I don't have an agent. Uh, I just recently got a manager after shooting the movie. But um, I literally used to pray over movies in the bookstore that I worked at. 
that oh, wow. he came okay. in and pray okay. and like, Lord, I, I want to work with these guys. I would watch movies like God's Not Dead, Mom's Night Out, mm-hmm. the Kendrick Brothers movies. And I'm like, these are really good. I wonder if, you know, God, there's nothing too hard for you. So I would pray over them. But how that happened is when the bookstore closed, one of my customers um, happened to be a faith-based actress. Okay. And she... um Kind of like how I told you I was going to pursue acting again. I was shared with her, like, this is what I'm going to pursue again. And we connected, and I volunteered on her short film. And her line producer knows the writers and the directors of this movie, okay. un- Unplanned, uh, Chuck Conselman and Carrie Solomon. And um, I sent her my demo reel one day, and she watched it and was like, you're a legit actor. Like, why are you serving crewmen Chinese food? What do you want to do? <laughs> and I was like, I just want to... You know, Jesus said, if you want to be first, you must be last. And if you want to be greatest, you must be the least. So there's no job above me, no job beneath me. I just love serving. Mm -hmm. And so she and I became good friends. And within less than, I want to say, like six, eight months, um, they were casting for Unplanned. And they went about a completely different way um, of casting. They didn't go through the union. They had prayed about Mm -hmm. it. And God put on their hearts to go non-union. So they casted all the actors in a very different roundabout way. Um, but they found me through that woman sending me them my demo reel right. and they watched, uh, my comedic demo reel and mm-hmm. they were like, who's this girl? We have to have her. Um, and within less than a month I was cast in the movie. I did an audition. It was a straight up offer. So, which is crazy. And I had not acted professionally in like seven years. Mm-hmm. So no pressure, <laughs> no pressure. Right. Right. So let's go back to that seven years. So what did you do in that? I mean, yeah. Um, what was it? How did you get started, in other words? Uh, with acting? Yeah. Again? Uh, oh, I love telling this because I actually act used to act at Calvary Chapel of the Harbor with uh, Joe Pettick and Kathleen yes, Pettick. Yeah. Yes, okay. I did like a couple of um, of their plays, which are so good. Yes. They're yes, so they good. Yeah. Kathleen's amazing at what she does. Mm-hmm. Um, so I kind of thought I was fulfilling my desire to get back into acting by just doing, you know, small local theater and just my desire to get back into it kept growing and growing and growing. But I and I had no idea that God would say, OK, well, we're just going to put you in the most controversial film of 2019 and right. glorify me on a whole other level. I had no idea that that was going to come about from yeah. that. But yeah. yeah, I got started acting again. I met Joe and Kathleen in my bookstore, mm. um, told them that I was an actor and then did a few plays with them. So I'm not the only one that should only be shopping at the chapel store who wound up going to a different <laughs> Sorry. bookstore. So, yeah, you, you just outed Joe and Kathleen. But well, we forgive you. No, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I love them so yes, much. Yes. I do. Um, yeah. And that's how I kind of started acting again. Um, and I would have people come up to me at those plays saying, please tell me this is what you do professionally. And right. I'd say, no, I work at a Christian bookstore down the road. And they're like, what? And I'm like, well, that's kind of a part of my testimony. Um, spent eight years in Hollywood before coming to faith in Christ. Um, mm. Seven, technically. I got saved August 2009 um, and then went back into Hollywood learning very quickly that Jesus is not accepted, wow, <laughs> not yeah. liked, not wanted. Mm-hmm. But um, God did a radical just transformation in my heart and in my life. And within a year, I surrendered everything uh, to Christ my entire career. That's what he was leading me to do. And that's literally how I ended up at the Christian bookstore. Yeah. I went from working with Tyler Perry. I mean, I've been so privileged to do so many wonderful projects and then ended up completely humbled in a little Christian bookstore in Orange County and was like, Lord, I don't understand what you're doing, but I'm going to trust you. Yeah. And um, I grew so much in my faith during that time. It was just an awesome, I love all, some of my customers have become some of my really good friends. And so just to be able to serve them in that capacity and to serve the Lord, I feel like God really prepared my heart to be able to do the same thing on a higher level this time in Hollywood um, telling Abby's story. And what's crazy to me is Abby, um, she assisted on an ultrasound guided abortion in and left Planned Parenthood within, I think, October 2009. I got saved August 2009. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I feel like God was doing this massive work in Abby's life and then doing this work in my life. And I literally feel like God set me apart specifically to use my talent to tell Abby's story, Yeah, to be a part of that. What part do you play in the Unplanned movie? So I play a character named Elena. And Elena is one of the abortion workers at Planned Parenthood with mm. Abby before she leaves. Okay. And she's the like religious pro-choicer. So she's actually 
she professes to be Catholic. Elena is. Elena is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So her character, my character, she's very, she goes to church, claims to love God, and believes that she's doing God's work at Planned Parenthood. Wow. Yeah, it's one of the lines I have in the movie. And uh, we had the pre- a premiere, our premiere the other night, and um, everyone in the audience was like, ooh. When I said that line, <laughs> right, right, I was right. like, yeah, I know. Did they throw popcorn at you? No, right? they okay. didn't. Everyone was super receptive because it's really important. She's a very important and vital character because that's kind of where a lot of America is at with yeah. it. They are they believe they're doing something good. And what's the good that they believe that they're doing is they believe they're helping women get out of bad situations. Right. But um, that's the lie that mm-hmm. they're believing mm-hmm. um, and that they have to tell themselves to continue to do what they do every single day to yeah. justify abortion. So, You mentioned that you're now in this movie, Unplanned, which possibly the most controversial movie of 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, a few months ago when you started, you guys are probably already filming the movie. Mm-hmm. And then all this stuff happened at the beginning of the year in New York yeah. and Virginia and now Illinois right. looks like they're going to follow suit. And so now, whereas this movie was going to be controversial anyway. Period. Now it's heightened. Heightened. Very much yes. heightened. And what happens now? I mean, Ooh. do you think maybe you may not get offered other roles and movies or TV shows? Or, I mean, will there be repercussions for you, do you think? And the other actors and actresses. Right. We Well, we were all heavily warned going into it. And our uh, directors, Chuck and Carrie, were very adamant when they were casting the movie that they warned us, like, you may potentially never work again in Hollywood. You understand what you're doing. And for me, and I know um, Ashley Bratcher, if anyone's heard her story, it's just remarkable. She's, you know, technically an abortion survivor. Mm. Um, she's the one who plays Abby. She's the one who plays Abby. Like, she knows and believes that she was set apart to tell Abby's story. Yeah. And I have very similar, a very similar way I was brought to this movie. I was like, God took me out of Hollywood once before and he led me right back. So mm-hmm. really, this isn't. I'm not doing this to glorify myself or to start a career. I just love acting, and I get to honor God this with this way. If this is all I do, I'm completely satisfied. Um, but I don't have any fear of that. I haven't really had any kickback or any negative um, feedback at all yet. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm not really worried about that yet. I, I believe whatever the Lord wants me to walk into, he'll let me walk into it. Um, and whatever he doesn't, um, he'll close those doors. But I, I believe unplanned is has been more of a call to advocacy more than anything. I feel like that's sort of what the Lord has put on my heart to do, to be bold and to speak up um, for the unborn and for women. Um, that women deserve better. And um, so... I'm not really scared. No, no. <laughs> I'm not really scared. No, you shouldn't be. No. Because, like you said, God took you out of Hollywood, put right. you back in for such a time as this. Yep. And that is verse is has been everyone. Like, that's been our verse over this whole movie, like, for such a time as this. And like you were saying, like, there was no way we could have foreseen the events that would be taking place in our nation. Right. And I think all of us are kind of just blown away at the timing of it all. And we all have this sense of the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding. And we just know that we're along for the ride, that God is the one who has orchestrated this entire movie. This movie is six years in the making. Uh, They had the rights to Abby's story like six years ago. Oh, wow. And so they, they wanted to make it six years ago, but God kept putting on Chuck and Carrie's heart. Not yet. Not yet. Don't do it. No, it's not yet. Not time. Um, Until 10 days before Trump became president. Then the Lord spoke to them and said, now, make the movie now. And they just by faith have completely trusted and listened to the Lord and his timing. Right. And so all of this is kind of blowing us away. And we believe this movie needs to be released at a time like this. You know, we're coming up on an election year and just with everything going on and how much darker it's getting. Yeah. Truth needs to be shown. Um, so we're completely we're excited and uh, it's the best. I couldn't have asked to work with a better group of people. They're right. amazing. That so. is so cool. Yeah. Talking to Sarah Hernandez, who is in the unplanned movie that comes out in theaters on March 29th. Get out and see it. Support this movie. Yes. Bring a group of your friends. Bring your church with you. This is going to be just one of those movies that, I mean, Christian movies have come a long way yeah. since the ones that, you know, came out years and years ago. And each one seems to get better and but this one here is just one that is just, like we said, it's it's a controversial subject anyway, 
But now, because of everything that's going on, it's just even more so. So yeah. get out and see this movie and uh, pray for people like Sarah who are Christians in the entertainment industry, whether it's TV or, or movies or radio or whatever, they're out there. And I think there's almost this, okay, I've told this story before. I'll give you guys the short version, but I wanted to get into radio when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. After I got saved when I was in high school, I'm like, I can't do radio anymore. Radio's like yeah. evil. It's, yeah. you know, and, uh -huh. and this was years ago before it became, you know, what it is now. But, but then after I got saved and the Lord, or through a friend of mine, I found this little Christian radio station. It wasn't K-Wave. It was a different one. And yeah. I'm like, wow. And they play music and the DJs are fun. And Lord is this, I still have that desire in my I heart. I get so that feeling Doors open, so et cetera. So, yeah. But there are Christians in yeah. all forms of entertainment. And I feel like sometimes we think, no, you can't go there. You right. can't do that because it'll eat you alive. I used to think that. My mom is here with us today. And we used to have so many, like, when I first got saved, I remember I just struggled so hard being in entertainment because I think my eyes were finally opened to just – the world and I yeah. just didn't really want to be a part of it and, and my desires this time are just like I mean if every movie I could do would be to tell a true story that's redemptive and uh, like Abby's story and, and it's purposeful and it's for a purpose greater than myself I, I would love every single project to be like that Yeah. Um, but I remember struggling with that like Lord I don't see how you can use me out here I don't understand how I could be used at Warner Brothers I don't understand how I could be used at Disney I don't understand and so when I say I couldn't have asked the Lord to work with a better group of people mm -hmm. oh my Lanta I feel that God is so redemptive. He takes the arts and he redeems it and utilizes it for his good. And that's how I feel about Unplanned. Like I was in an industry before using my talent to honor and glorify myself. And now I get to do this, what I love, my yeah. passion, your passion for radio and honor God with it. It's just been, I mean, my mind is completely blown at Jesus. He's so big, so good. And I encourage Christians to I don't think it's a mistake that God gave you the desires that you have for the passions that you love. Um, I say Psalm 37, 5, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. And I just feel that that's what I did an entire time working at my bookstore was I sought first the kingdom of God, his righteousness. Everything else was added later. Um, and yeah, I, I completely understand your story with the arts and wanting to use it like, oh, I don't know if I can go this way. Yeah. But um, I'm just willing and open to be used by the Lord this time around in Hollywood. Um, I really believe we need lights out there. I don't think anyone should go in their own strength and be like, I'm going to go do Conquer Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no. You need to be empowered by the Lord to go yeah. out and just to be a bold light. But there's so many, you know, broken people and people that need to see truth and and want what you have because for me it's my identity isn't found in the roles I play or in the jobs I do it's found in Christ first and foremost and alone so it doesn't matter at the end of the day when I lay down my head on my pillow at night I know that I belong to Christ and no matter what I do I'm his yeah you know what I mean mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. how can people pray for you Sarah Hernandez Ooh. please pray that um my words are filled with grace as we move forward and um, un unleash unplanned. Um, and just, I really just want to be a bold, strong witness and um, for wisdom. I think navigating Hollywood, you need a lot of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I would really love for that and for whatever the Lord would have next. Um, and every single day I'm filled with opportunities to minister to women. Um, I've met so many women. Uh, real quick, the woman who even sold me my shoes for our Hollywood premiere uh, at a Macy's out here in Orange County um, had no idea that she was post-abortive, and it was an opportunity. She wow. was like, "What? Why are you buying your? What are you buying your shoes for? These are so fancy." And I said, "Oh, it's for a movie premiere. Oh, what movie premiere? Mine. What <laughs> movie? Unplanned. What's the movie about?" Well, it's yeah. based on. And so I explained it to her, and immediately she just started crying in a Macy's, mm -hmm. in the shoe department, because she ended up having an abortion at 16 and had never told a soul, but she opened up and shared with me. Oh so goodness, yeah, man. I got to minister and to encourage her right there on the spot. Yeah. And just the sweetest soul. And she knew, she shared that she had found the Lord and knew that he forgave her, but she always carried the memory of her child yeah. and it needed that healing. So I think 
Pray for wisdom, please, navigating Hollywood, but especially the opportunities that will come up. This isn't just a normal movie for me. I'm not just an actor in a movie. I'm mm-hmm. a Christian that has the life-giving truth that people need, which is Christ. Yeah. So um, I, I pray, please, for that. Not only the life-giving truth that people need, but the right. life-giving truth that it seems is getting harder and harder to get out and yeah. tell. And roadblocks are being set up and everything where, right. where no, you can't talk about this here and everything else. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but we still do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, Sarah Hernandez, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming yeah. into K-Wave. Thank you for being on our social media. And uh, how can people find out more about you? Well, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Instagram, my hash, my tag, my handle, whatever, it whatever is. it's called, <laughs> is Sarah dot beloved. So S A R A H dot B E L O V E D. And on Facebook, I just created an actor page. It's weird for me to say that because I feel like I'm just a Christian bookstore manager. I'm not like this actor. <laughs> um, but it's Sarah Beloved Hernandez. Uh, that's where you can find me. Got it. Got it. So you're not just a bookstore manager. I remember for a time after the bookstore, you even managed uh, Beyonce's career. Beyonce? Wasn't it Beyonce? Oh, wait, this was a joke between you and I, wasn't it? Yes, it it was. And now we're telling everybody about it. So go ahead. Or should I? You do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll probably butcher it. She, okay. (laughs) No, she didn't manage Beyonce. She managed a bed, bath, and beyond. No, a bath and body works. I mean, bath and body works. That's it. Yes. So so when I, yeah, it just kind of. Yeah, was it when I, I needed to change my name on Facebook when I was like, I'm going to change my name and I, that you said I should be Beyonce or something like that? So, I don't know. I don't remember. remember but, but I, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> this is so cool. Anyway, Sarah, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, the movie, more information about the movie is at unplanned. Unplanned.com. Dot com. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. And thank you for watching and for listening on K-Wave 107.9, your home for worship and the word.